Let's talk about a synthetic backup in Veritas Backup Exec 16. So first, let's see how we set those up. First, we highlight the server that we want to have a synthetic backup. We go up to Backup, and we choose Create a Synthetic Backup. So instead of creating a one-time backup, as we would do if we just wanted to backup the server, it actually creates three different backup jobs. And the first backup is going to be the full, and then the incremental, and then the synthetic. So what this does is it does the full backup and it creates a schedule. And by default, it makes it for the first Sunday of every one month. But you can certainly go in and edit that using the edit button at the bottom. Then it does a daily incremental uh, backup, which backs up anything that's changed since the previous day. And then we have the synthetic backup. So what that does by default, again, you can change when this does it, is every Saturday at 11 p.m., it's going to create a backup where it takes all of the changes and the full backup and puts it together in one backup that has the most recent backup of all of your data at one time. So a synthetic backup, all it does is just combines all of the other backups during the week since the past synthetic backup has been run and the last full backup has been run into one brand new backup. It does not duplicate anything. It just takes all the changes. So when you're done, just go ahead and click OK, or you can go in and edit and make changes as well. But it won't really alter the synthetic backup itself which we see right here, all it does is alter when the timing is of the synthetic backup. So we're not going to be able to alter any of the job features. We're just going to be able to alter when it is that it gets done. So a synthetic backup is very useful if we want to take a backup of all of the changes that have been done, plus the full backup, and either store it or use it for a bare metal restoration in case our hardware has failed and we need to start over again on a new server or new hardware.